Hello. This is the tutorial on how to fusion splice and cleave fiber. For this tutorial we have some equipment. Over here we have the fusion splicer and a cleaver and then a stripper. We have some isopropyl alcohol for cleaning, a fiber and a sharps waste bucket. We have some Kim wipes, methanol and Q-tips. To get started, we'll check our cleaver. So if the pads here that hold the fiber, the, that secure the fiber, if they're dirty, that's going to make it difficult to get a good cleave. So if you take your Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol, then you can swab the pads, clean them. And then also swab the blade. If the blade gets dull from the side, you can come in and rotate the blade with a screwdriver. Um, there are two ways to insert fiber into this cleaver, probably more than two. Uh, one is the fiber holder that can be screwed down here and uh, the fiber goes in one of the grooves and is held by gravity and this foam. It does not provide a very good connection. <coughs> the second option is to take from the fusion splicer to take uh, one of the fiber holders which is removable and then to insert it here it's uh, held in by a magnet and so is the fiber holder. It provides a much more secure connection. So what we'll do is we'll take uh, some fiber that we have here. It's a single mode fiber and we'll lay it across so that the fiber goes through the groove and then goes across both pads with a little bit on the end. And once we have that length of fiber there, then we will close the flap to secure it. And now we can carefully remove and strip the fiber. So we'll take the smallest hole in the fiber uh, stripper and we'll close on to it. And as we do, we rotate the fiber stripper to keep the fiber straight and we pull. As we do that, the jacket is stripped off. And we put the extra jacket into our fiber waste bucket. And to clean the fiber, we'll take a Kim wipe with some methanol on it. And wipe. We'll wipe multiple times without touching the same area. Take another Kim wipe, do the same thing. We'll, we'll dab a methanol. Okay, now we will insert this back into the cleaver. Close the cleaver, and then we'll do the button to cleave. And if it does not cleave the first time, you can do it again. It doesn't always cleave the first time. Often, if it doesn't cleave a lot, that means you need to clean or something is dull. So this time, it did a uh, cleave. So we can remove the. Uh, fiber from the cleaver and we'll need to remove the extra fiber so that needs to be out of the way off the pads the next time that we uh, cleave so there's there's supposed to be a fiber waste bucket here that the fiber gets uh, pushed into 
So now we will insert this without letting the fiber tip touch anything. We'll put it into the cleaver. So there's a post here, right there, where the that post goes in a hole and the holder is secured by a magnet. So we'll, starting from the back end, lower it into the post and then lower it into the V-groove in the purple area of the fusion splicer. You can see the fiber tip right there between the arc or, or the electrodes. Okay, so now we will check the quality of our splice. So you can see uh, it is very straight and there is no debris. If, there, if the cleave is at an angle or you see any debris or glass shards on the front, that will not make for a good uh, fusion splice. We can check the Y projection this way. Also looks quite clean. So this is ready to move on. So now we will repeat the same task for the other fiber. First, by removing the other fiber holder and inserting it into the cleaver. Now we'll take our other fiber and lay it across. Being careful to put it in the V groove and lower the, whole, the clasp on. Okay. Now we can strip it. Okay. Put the waste in the waste bucket. We'll take a Kim wipe. Some methanol, a clean stripped fiber of debris. Let's do another one. All right, and we will insert into the cleaver. So now we will close the cleaver, cleave. This time it did not happen right away, nor the second time. Nor the third time. All right, most likely there's some debris. Or we are not held in correctly. Looks fine. I guess uh, also helps to hold it down a little tighter. Now it cleaved. All right, so we'll leave the, removing the fiber uh, for later. We wanna protect this cleaved fiber. So what I did there on that last one is I pushed harder on the, um, on the top, which secured the fiber down more. And that allowed when the blade went across the fiber, it was able to score it instead of moving under it. Okay. So now we take the fiber, we position this hole over the post. We 
And we be very careful to lower the fiber into the V-groove. All right, now that we're secured, both fibers are secured, we can close and examine. Okay. Okay, so you want to look for angle, again, any angle on the cleave for both uh, projections, X and Y. And then you also want to look for any debris. Uh, there's also, this, this looks very clean. So we will go ahead and press go. When you're switching between projections, you want to make sure not to hit this button because this will do an arc check, which will, without moving the fibers together, it will uh, run an arc, which will melt the tips of the fibers and you will have to recleave. So do not touch that. All right, so now we're ready to hit green for go. It aligns them. Splices. And uh, according to this, we have a perfect splice. Now, that number is estimated on the uh, picture. So for, uh, also it's estimated off of um, it being a telecom fiber. So in this case, it's a visible single mode fiber. So they may not be as well positioned, but uh, this should be a pretty good splice. Um, if you want to really know what the insertion loss is of this splice, you will need to characterize it yourself. All right, so that is how you cleave fiber and uh, fusion splice. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.